Chris Kidd here with the latest on this series of my PC build using the Devil's Canyon CPU, the Intel Core i5-4690K, running at 4.5 GHz overclocked thanks to the Milstrom 240 liquid CPU cooler, this radiator as you can see right here, long tubing, depending on the keys that you got, should be good enough, comes with two fans, and I'm going to be using two more for a push-pull effect, okay, so you've got the two fans here, two uh, power cables, the four pins that are going to connect to your motherboard CPU um, uh, fan connectors, the uh, tubing, very uh, nicely uh, laid out, and uh, it turns, of course, to facilitate where the angles and how you want to install it in your case. Thermal grease comes applied on the base already, so you're good to go. In the uh, box, you're going to get the hardware for your AMD or Intel CPU, and actually, it was very easy to install compared to other radiators that I've installed in the past. This one was very, very easy, so I'm pleased about uh, Deep Cool's results there on that uh, Milstrom 240. Now, I did install SSD drives. The Patriot Blaze SSD, the 240 gigabyte, has all my apps and games running on it. The uh, rated sequential read is 555 megs per second, and the write is um, 535. The Plexter M6E PCI Express SSD drive is super fast, okay, running, uh, as you can see right there, with those sequential read and writes, things boot up in seconds. I'm installing Windows 8.1 on here and everything else. So let's take a look at some benchmarks. So here is the system that I'm uh, going to be running everything on, of course, and uh, we're running the Kingston Savage Memory with these timings as you can see right there there's the model the XMP 2133 megahertz and also a GTX 780 uh, gaming edition from MSI so here it is again running at 4.5 gigahertz and uh, some PC mark 8 results so you can see here 4817 that's the score on the creative conventional um, benchmark which takes about 40 minutes I ran this benchmark several times to make sure that I got a consistent result and you can see the different types of tests that it runs within those 40 minutes that it took to do now of course this score is very high also thanks to the SSD drives and the memory okay so there's a whole combination of things that make this get to where it's at and that's what it's all about that's why I picked these components because I knew it was gonna give high performance especially when I ran the fire strike um, 3d mark uh, results okay so you can see there my score here in orange uh, 8792 is the score okay compared to uh, what uh, they have online so I submitted the results online and it compared to uh, an Intel Core i7 uh, machine so I did a comparison here chart to show you exactly what I'm running on the left compared to uh, the, the Intel Core i7 machine running on the right side of that column. Same graphics card, basically same motherboard chipset as well. So we're trying to be fair here on that. And you can see how well my machine performs compared to an Intel Core i7 4790K in this case. Okay, so it's even uh, newer. So definitely uh, very proud of my results. And the only thing that I saw that um, lowered my score compared to that machine was the uh, physics score actually. So um, trying to figure out exactly why my physics score was a little bit lower. Probably the PCI Express, the, the lanes and the sharing maybe might have affected that. Uh, could be driver issue, but uh, overall my graphics scores and my frames per second were actually um, pretty much on par with the, uh, with the other machines. So very pleased with those results. And again, remember, mine's a four core machine, not, uh, not eight um, threads. So again, hotbot.com, I submitted my results compared with other machines from other folks. You can see these ones here are from other folks. Mine is the red one and mine rated right at the tippity top of the pack. So I'm again, very happy that uh, my machine is uh, ranking um, this high. Now, moving along with other benchmarks on the ADA64 cache memory benchmark, the read, the write, the copy, and the latency, that's related to the memory. So that's the Kingston Savage uh, memory, the 16 gigs that I installed right there, running very fast. Of course, this CPU has level 3 cache, 6 um, megs of that, which helps a lot as well. And uh, the fact that it's overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, you know, makes a big difference. Now, here again, uh, the latency scores rank my machine right at the top again compared to other machines. The CPU photo work score also ranks my machine very well compared to these other types of machines as you can see right there in that chart. Now, 
Like I mentioned earlier, the SSD drives make a difference. The Plex Tour M6E PCI Express SSD has terrific results, and again, it proves it right there. 570, 580 megs per second on the write, and about 730 megs per second on the read. Super fast results. I mean, Windows 8.1 boots in about five seconds. Uh, no joke, really fast. And that's why I chose that to host the operating system. And on the other hand, the Patriot Blaze is also a very fast um, SSD drive. And here are the results for that one. Again, 537 megs per second on the read is super fast. And uh, on the right as well, 325 megs per second. So terrific results on that one. The um, OpenGL and CPU tests for Cinebench, again, here are my results, 7.58 on the CPU compared to these other machines. And on the OpenGL, uh, this GTX 780 that I have installed uh, ranked right at the top, again, beating all these other graphic cards that I've reviewed in the past. And um, what can I say? I mean, if you can grab a uh, GTX 780 for cheap now, uh, go ahead, because uh, it's performing really well here on extreme ultra high HD settings, uh, maxed out, of course, on every game. Uh, running it at 1080p because you know trying to find some some results that can push the uh, system to a very uh, high uh, level and Crisis 3 does that when you run things on very high things run uh, very very hot of course and uh, We're gonna look at the temperatures in just a second But here is Battlefield 4 again multiplayer results on ultra ultra high quality settings and uh, Sleeping Dogs as well running on extreme settings so it gives you a good well-rounded variety of games. Uh, Thief, here is Thief running again on very high quality preset. You can see there the minimum, max, and average frames per second on that one as well. And temperatures, well, ambient room temperatures, 21 degrees Celsius. The CPU on idle runs about 30 degrees Celsius, okay? And on full load, it will not go over 70 degrees Celsius, okay? Thanks to that uh, radiator and the liquid cooling, you can see there on idle about 34 um, degrees Celsius or less on idle. Terrific results, I tell you. And the GPU on idle is about 35, I would say. And uh, on full load, 100%, the GPU goes up to 78 degrees Celsius. So again, because of the way I have things set up, cooling is running very nicely, system is stable, and uh, I'm getting really good results, especially when I'm doing my gaming. And it looks nice, I gotta admit. I mean, I added two little fans at the back, uh, two fans at the top and then you got the radiator at the front and that's adding to getting this temperature down If you're interested in looking at more specifics on any of the components that I have installed click on those um, Icons there any of those thumbnails and I'd like to thank the uh, following product providers for making this happen Comment let me know what you think and again. Thank you for watching <laughs>